Hey everybody, it's Polish Pete, and I'm here at Omnia in Golden Valley, Minnesota, and I recently was able to take part in a little project to test out some of the new Victory Rods from St. Croix Rods. I actually got to fish with almost every one of the original grade eight, and I found them to be the leaders as far as price point goes. It's killer rod lineup. Some insanely cool technologies in the rods, but this particular rod right here is a, was a prototype at the time, but it's actually gonna be available to all of you now. Uh, this, was, this is the 710 medium light extra fast. It's actually deemed the crosshair. So it's for, that sound right there, if you're a smallmouth angler, you know exactly what that sound is, especially if you fish Surgeon Bay at all in the spring. You've heard that noise. It's for whipping the little fuzz ball around. The Fighter Fly, which is actually designed by our friend uh, Seth Fighter, uh, made by Outcast Tackle, and it's probably the most popular hair jig on the market right now. There's a whole bunch of them out there. And the trick to the hair jig is you want to throw a pretty light one. You want it to look as lifelike and realistic in the water, but there's a big disadvantage to a hair jig and that's it catches a bunch of wind. It's very light, so you can't cast it very far. So this particular rod was designed to master that technique. And I'll tell you, it's been a home run. Uh, I've only got a little bit of time on the water with this particular model myself. It's been a little bit of a crazy year for me so far here at Omnia. So actually one of our buyers and one of our uh, associates in the warehouse there, Nick Moraz and Jacob Bros, took this rod up to Mille Lacs and they actually didn't want to give it back to me. They were throwing the hair jig on it and it absolutely launches the thing. Uh, I actually got a chance to go out and use it myself a couple times and I found a little different technique I found it to be a uh, superstar for and that happens to be this little morsel here. This is one of the most popular baits on planet Earth right now. This is the, actually the dark sleeper. And you actually fish these little ones a lot like you fish a small, like two and a half inch tube bait. You need to cast these really far, get it down to the bottom, and actually drag it and put as little action in it as possible. This rod absolutely launches a little quarter ounce dark sleeper a mile, and you can get that bottom contact with it, and, and my favorite part of this rod is because of the handle design, I can get away with fishing a larger spinning reel. I can finesse fish with a power fishing spinning reel. Uh, I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but it does if you do it a whole bunch, because trust me, the best do it for a reason that way, because you turn the handle a couple times on this reel and you've cleaned up all your slack line, because you've got that giant surface area rotating, but a huge, typically a giant spinning reel like this knocks the balance off of a reel, makes it feel really heavy. But I've got this 710 rod and I'm actually holding this rod up above the reel seat and it makes it feel super light. It gives all the, the it helps you pay attention to how nice this blank is. It's actually a blend of two of St. Croix's most popular carbon fibers, one of them being their SC6 carbon fiber and it's super sensitive and it's light. And now I'm not feeling all this weight back here. I'm actually paying attention to what's going on in the front half of this rod. And I've got the leverage to fight a fish. I can have a big reel on it, that I've got a large surface area for my drag, no line issues because my line management's way better. And I can pick up any of that slack line or loops from a long cast out there in a split second. So if you're looking to get out there and try and throw a hair jig as far as you can and be competitive throwing the fuzz ball around, I think this is the ultimate weapon I've picked up yet period on the market, don't matter the price point for throwing the hair jig. But I'll be honest with you, I'm looking forward to Sturgeon Bay next year and trying to drag one of these little guys around too with it. So if you're into throwing little tiny tubes or covering or dragging stuff on the bottom that's really light and small out there in your big bodies of water, check out the Crosshair from St. Croix Rods in the new Victory Series. <laughs>